Greetings game boys and game girls, my name's Ian Higton, I'm from Eurogamer and I'm going to be showing you how to survive today on How to Survive, a brand new zombie survival game from Eco Software and it's published by 505 Games. They've, they've had quite a nice run of it lately with uh, superb games like Brothers and Payday 2 under their belt. Uh, so let's find out if uh, How to Survive can... Um live up to those titles. Now it is a uh, top-down game, very reminiscent of the kind of style of Diablo. It's almost like Diablo with zombies. I'm going to be playing a local game. I'm not going to be playing the story mode. I've played quite a bit of the story mode. Let's find out how much of the story mode I've played. I've played 46% of the zombie mode, uh, the story mode. So, uh, but today I don't, I don't want to give you guys any, any kind of story spoilers or anything. So today I'm going to be trying out the challenge mode, which I tried it when I'd first started playing the game, and it was brutally hard. Anyway, listen to this guy, who I think is Marcus from Borderlands. So basically, got to find an airplane before I die. That was Kovac. He's the guy who writes the How to Survive manual in the game. He comes along with all your uh, helpful training hints and tips throughout the one-player game. Uh, I'm going to be playing it alone because I've got no friends. And I think I'm going to be... I'm going to stick as Kenji. I've been playing through as Kenji uh, through the single-player mission anyway. So we've got Island of the Fatties. Um, there's there's lots of different zombie types, basically. Fatties are basically um, boomer rip-offs. You know, boomers from Left 4 Dead. Um, there's lots of challenges. How many challenges? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight challenges. I'm going to be going for challenge one. Find your plane before being part of the calorie count. Uh, I'm going to do it on normal. Like I said, I tried it once before, and <laughs> I had uh, I had no luck. I died instantly. Uh, you get these little interactive survival guides here. What is uh, one of the most... What of these items is useless in the crafting of a homemade gun? String. There you go. Got 15 extra XP there. Lovely stuff. Uh, what is the ability of the red stones? Oh, I don't know. Revive a dead body? Oh, missed it. So, in this mode, you start off waking up on a beach with absolutely nothing in your backpack. In the single player game, it teaches you how to find stuff, uh, plants and weapons and things, how to craft them into better weapons. I've just picked up some bullets for handmade guns, but apart from that, my backpack is completely empty. I've picked up a harpoon grip as well. Lots of the time I find it hard to see items that can be picked up. Uh, so I, I often run around just pressing A just to try and find things. So here we go. I've got some parts of guns that I uh, that I can combine together to make a you know a, a full gun. Unfortunately, I don't have like a compressor, so I can't start making the gun. But I've got a harpoon grip and a tube. That will be the start to a gun. But still got nothing, and I can hear zombies very close. Yeah, there's a zombie. You can't sneak. There's another zombie. There's there's one of the uh, the fatties. I've got myself a stick now, so now I can beat the zombies off. <laughs> Lol, I made a joke. I'm gonna ignore them for a second. I've got another wooden stick. You can use the wooden sticks for loads of things. You can make new weapons. You can craft them into arrows for bows. If I get too close to this fatty, he's gonna explode and take me down. He'll take the oh, there's a compressor. I've got to try and avoid him. If you get too close, you take him on hand to hand. He'll explode. Damage me. He'll damage other zombies around. Ooh, run away. But he'll damage me as well. But it's okay, because now I can combine that with that. Unfinished semi auto weapon. So now I've got to combine the unfinished semi auto weapon with the tube. And then. All I need is a hardwire, hardware box to fix this. I do have a hardware box. There you go. I picked that up on the pier just then. So now I've got myself a handmade gun. Uh, I just select that using LB. And now, just like Diablo, you can shoot in the direction you're facing. There you go. Shot the boomer or the fatty or whatever they're called in this game. And he took out the other one as well. So now I'm good. I've 
got enough stuff. I've got enough ammo to last for a little while that will take out the a lot of the fatties. So now I should be able to make my way towards wherever this plane is. This is as far as I got. The first time I played, I died instantly. These little head crab things got me. A load of them, because I ran off. I didn't realise that there was loads of items right near the start. This is the first challenge, so fingers crossed it won't be too solid. See, these head crabby things look a bit like they've been ripped off from Dead Space. And then the boomers from, le uh, from Left for Dead. There are some other zombies that only appear at the night. They're like crawly things. I don't think they've been ripped off from anything. There you have that. At the moment, I've got nothing to regenerate my health. If I press uh, B quickly, you can also see that you have to manage your hunger, thirst, and tiredness as well. So you've got to scavenge for food a lot, as well as uh, as well as ammo and weapons. Saving my bullets by whacking these zombies on the head. You can do finishing moves on them as well. I should try and demonstrate in a second. If you hold down RB, I'll try and do that in a second. I'll try and thin the zombies out. If you hold it down, you charge up a hit, you know, whack, you can take the zombies' heads right off. There we go, let's kill this one. Special move, kablag. And there we go. Getting me loads of, there are loads of ammos. Loads of ammos. What was that there? Flexible branch just picked up. It's going to be good for making a bow. I'm going to need a some rope, some fishing rope or whatever. Kabla. So it's quite easy to finish off the zombies with a. Those zombies with the armor on, though, a little bit more difficult. You have to really smash their heads in to kill them. And these little barrier, these little. I don't know, they look like outhouses. Uh, they normally contain something nice. Ah, oh, this one's empty. They're normally little bonus houses. Okay, let's get my gun up. Oh. In this game, right trigger is run and RB is shoot. And that constantly, constantly throws me. I'm often running towards bad guys instead of uh, shooting them just because I keep pressing the right trigger to shoot. Because that's. Yeah, you know, it's instinctive with uh, the Xbox. Is it right trigger is shoot, but not in this game. Uh oh. No, see, I did it again. I'm an idiot. Run away. You'll be seeing me doing that a lot in this Let's Play, I'm sure. Oh my god. Oh, I actually ran there at the right time that time. There you go. Lots of nice little jibs of zombies flying around. Blah. Diving tank. Special white plant. Special white plants, you can cook them. Um, I don't really know what they're used for. You can combine them with stuff as well. We've got a diving tank. I'm not too sure what the diving tank does either. What have we got down here? Ah! Head crabs. Oh, they, one bullet takes out a head crab, which is nice. That's actually a lot easier than trying to hit them. Did I kill that zombie there that I shot? I did. Anything there to pick up? Go away, gun. Uh oh. Homemade. Ow! This homemade gun's not too bad. Got him. <clears throat> so I'm not too sure how big the single player game is. It doesn't seem massive to me. I think a lot of this game might be around doing these challenges with people online and offline. I mean, I'm, what, what was it, 40% of the way through? And I pretty much only just stopped kind of doing the training part of the game. It involves a lot of tutorials and learning how to survive. Because it gets dark and then you have to kind of find somewhere to sleep. And you can only sleep in, like, certain places. It's, it's pretty complicated, but if you like the... Whoa! Damn it, ran again instead of shooting. Stupid gun. If you like that kind of thing... I need a machete to get through there. If you like the kind of survival thing, then you will like this. Wooden stick, flexible branch, no, no kind of machete. 
Oh well. My health is pretty low. Can I eat the special white plant? I can't. Maybe I can if I cook it. Can I cook it? Cooking a special white plant. Now what? It's been cooked. It'll sort my hunger out, not my health. Rubbish. So I'm pretty sure that... Oh, there you go. Oh, that combines with that. That's nice. I'm pretty sure that they make these challenged modes especially brutal. So chances of me actually completing this... are pretty low. Especially seeing as I already have only half the health that a normal guy would need. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Knock him back a bit. There we go, took out a couple of zombies. Oh my god, there's loads! Run away! Your stamina is rubbish. Damn you, armored zombie. Got him. Killed him. Okay, got some more ammo. That was good. That was that was pretty tense there. I got, got a little bit worried. Let me just quickly check up around here. Probably shouldn't be running so much. Keep out, so I can't get through there yet. How's my how am I looking? I'm getting thirsty. I'm alright for hunger. Starting to get a little bit tired now. But it's my health that I'm most worried about. I have to attack from a distance, especially with these guys. I've actually got quite a lot of ammo, so I'm not too bothered about conserving it yet. Take that. There you go. Kablow. In the actual single player game, you'll get deer and like wild boar and stuff wandering around that you can kill and then get their meat and cook. <coughs> and then the, that gives you health and helps your hunger as well. Which is pretty cool. So you can go hunting deer. If you shoot a deer, it normally doesn't kill it straight away. It runs off and you have to follow blood trails around. It's pretty nice. Kablam, 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 kablam. A lot of these flowers here, these colourful flowers, are able... Ooh, I picked up some glasses. I've no idea what the glasses do. I've never picked up glasses before. Grana root. That might give me some energy. Might wake me up a little bit. Nothing on this guy. It's worth just hammering A by all the dead bodies. Just to see if you pick up anything good. Almost sounds like there's something bad inside that thing. No, what is it? Anything in there? No, nothing. Oh, look at these creepy peeps. These bushes here, you need a machete. Or a machete to cut through. Let me just check out the map. Quickly, so I'm the arrow, the red arrow. Uh, the exclamation mark is where I need to get to. Fire is uh, shows where you can do campfires and cook food from. Not sure what the blue icon is, or the ones that look uh, to me a little bit like keys. We'll find out. Let's head towards them. Anything good in here? Oh yeah, I've got a flared tube. Probably add a flared tube to that. There we go, that's nice. Now I need some hardware. Have I got hardware? I have got hardware. What have I got? I've got a homemade fast shotgun. I like the sound of that. Let's equip the homemade fast shotgun. Now, what have I picked up there? So that will help my hunger. Special red plant, not great to eat. Could be mixed with another plant. Not this time. Not that great to eat. Could be mixed with another plant. Doesn't want to. Um, piece of fabric. I need to mix a piece of fabric with a healing plant. But I don't have any healing plants yet. 
What's this saying? I'm starting to get thirsty. Top left. This isn't getting thirsty. Oh, I've got an exotic fruit. Whoa, I did the running thing again. So I can eat the exotic fruit. That'll replace my health and hunger. Such an idiot doing that running thing. I blame the developers for giving it rubbish controls. There you go, got him. <laughs> Again. Honestly, it's just my finger just naturally relaxes onto the trigger, so when I go to fire, I just. It's just second nature. It would be like being in a car and swapping the steering wheel with the brake. Get around the plant again. Oh my god! Give me my shotgun. Yeah, took a few of them out. We've got the Garana roots. Let's have a look how I'm doing. Thirst. Let's. Tastes like shit. I'm not that hungry, but I'll eat it. Um, empty bottle. Bottle filled with beer would have been better. So I can fill that with water to help my thirst, but I can also eat the exotic fruits. Where the hell are the exotic fruits? Garana root. Oh, this will help my sleep. I need that. Good, good. I swear I picked up exotic. Oh, there we go. That's helped my thirst. Quickly check my map again. There's water down to the left, but it's blocked off, I believe. So let's go up and round. Can I burn through these? Oh, I can burn through these bits with fire. Look at that. Fire beats bushes, everyone. Oh, no. Oh, there's a deer. Oh, it's like a crazy zombie deer. Uh, Oh no! Don't die! Run away! Oh my god. I'm in trouble. Crazy zombie deer. I have not seen a crazy zombie deer before. I don't want to see one again. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it! Oh god! It gored me. Ah, oh, And I am dead. Well that took me by surprise. So there you go. That was... Uh, <laughs> I, I, I kind of got quite far there. If if I had have known about crazy zombie deers before, I'd have done a little bit better. What's the ability of the red stones? I'm going to say to improve weapons damages. Yeah. Um, it seems like quite a good game from what I've played so far. The, the single player mode, the story mode, seems a bit more like an extended training mission. I think people are going to have more fun with this in the challenge modes and in multiplayer. Go back to the main menu quickly. You can play the single player in two player local as well, though. So, the online game you can play on the challenges. Or, you, or it looks like you can play the single player game. You can turn the audio chat on and off if you don't want to speak to anybody. That's nice. But this game isn't out for like a week yet, so um, no one, no one's going to be online to play with. Oh, but you get leaderboards as well. But anyway, yeah, it seems like a very good, fun game, especially if you like um, games. I guess like Daisy, and then uh, that other one that was out on the Xbox Live Arcade about zombies recently. That was a bit like Daisy. That's name I can't remember. Answers in the comments. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, and it's going to be out on Xbox 360 and the PC sometime next week. I believe on the 23rd. Yep, the 23rd for Steam and Xbox Live Arcade with the PS3 version to be confirmed at some point soon. Thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments if you want to see me do more How to Survive. And uh, as always, please do subscribe for plenty more Let's Plays, live streams and exclusive interviews on Eurogamer. Lovely. Good boy.